So last week we reviewed Straight Out of Compton. We gave it three ticket subs out of three. It said it was highly recommended and encouraged everyone to grab all their friends and go out and see it. Clearly, everyone is watching our show and went to go see the movie. That is the only explanation uh, why it did so well. All kidding aside, Straight Out of Compton was fantastic. Did incredibly well this weekend. It was projected to do about fifty-six million at the box office uh, in America. They were a little off, a little skewed. Turns out it actually did even more. It did $60 million. So it's rave reviews all over the place. People are maybe even mentioning possible Oscar talk for it, which is always good. It doesn't really show any sign of slowing down. It might even be the number one movie again this week. So it's, I think, great for hip-hop and, and the movies to sort of be shedding light on this genre, which hasn't really been touched on, which is the hip-hop uh, biopic. So there have been talks that maybe they'll be doing some more hip-hop-related biopics in the future, uh, whether groups or solo. There was talk about maybe doing one about Death Row, since they touched on Suge and Tupac and Dr. Dre on this one. Uh, I read an article where they were talking about Def Jam, which uh, me and Patrick were talking about last week. We were thinking, oh, that would be a really good one, because you've got so many big names at the start of hip-hop. What movies would you like to see being made about your favorite rappers or rap groups? Let us know in the comments below and uh, maybe kick off a debate about what will come up next. So the annual salary list was released for the highest paid actors and actresses in Hollywood. So at the top of the list, you've got Jennifer Lawrence and Scarlett Johansson, who have had great years being in giant blockbuster movies. And... Uh, compared to their male counterparts, Jennifer Lawrence is doing very well. She would rank, if they did just the men and women together, she would rank at number two. Right under Robert Downey Jr. would be number one. She'd be number two. And then Jackie Chan would be number three, which surprised me. Not because I don't like him. Opposite from that, I love him. Uh, I forget that he's still doing a lot of big box office in other countries. But aside from Jennifer Lawrence and... Scarlett Johansson, these lists kind of showed that women are being not paid as much as their male counterparts. Even solid A-listers like Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie, and Reese Witherspoon aren't really doing as much money. And kind of a telling sign is the bottom of the list for the men, which was Andy Lau and Chris Pratt. They are tied at making about $13 million, and they're actually way above names like Sandra Bullock, Meryl Streep, Natalie Portman. And not to say that who's better than who, it's just shining a light on kind of the difference in pay. But what do you think? Do you think that this is a telling sign of kind of how things are in not just Hollywood, but in society today? Or do you think that there's a reasonable explanation? And could you give us a reasonable explanation why a lot of these bankable women are not making as much as their male counterparts. Movie I reviewed this week is American Ultra, starring Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart. It's very violent. It's funny. Uh, John Leguizamo, one of my favorite actors of all time, comes in, steals the scenes that he's in. Jesse Eisenberg, I think his star is starting to really start uh, blow up. And Kristen Stewart, I know she's been getting a lot of flack in the past years for doing the Twilight movies and apparently just being very serious and doing the like, like lip biting and just not acting at all. But she was really good in this. And she and Eisenberg, I think, are a great team. They they reunited from their movie Adventureland. And they've got great chemistry together. It was fun. It was a flawed movie. But it's one of those movies that you just go in and enjoy. So I would give this movie two ticket stubs out of three. I would say go grab a date or a friend and go see this movie. Thank you so much for watching Hip Hop and Movie News. This week's submission is a Christmas classic being told by LaFeld Twins. That reminds me, I actually have to go get started on my Christmas shopping because I procrastinate and don't get anything for anyone. See you next time and uh, Feliz Navidad. Except an award of some kind. And the child mentioned a check.